In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply several integers together using a pattern that we found with multiplying two negatives together. When we were multiplying two negatives, because we had the same sign, we said two negatives would multiply to a positive. This means we could pair off every set of two negatives, which would multiply to a positive. Extending that idea, if we have an even number of negatives, they'll each pair off, and our final answer will be positive. Conversely, if we have an odd number of negatives, then we would have one negative left over, which would mean our final answer is negative. So let's see about trying some examples where we multiply several integers together and decide, is the answer positive or is the answer negative? Whoops. Here we have 2 times negative 3 times 4 times negative 1 times 3. It's all multiplication because there's nothing separating the parentheses from the numbers. We can tell right from the beginning that because there is 1, 2 negatives, an even number of negatives, our final answer is going to be positive. We don't know positive what, but we do know that the answer is going to be positive. So let's try multiplying together left to right to see what we get. 2 times 3 is 6, and I'm just focusing on the numbers now. We know the answer is positive, so we don't have to worry about the positive or negative. So I'm going to do 6 times 4 times 1 times 3. 6 times 4 is 24, times 1 times 3. 24 times 1 is 24, times 3. And I might need to do some chicken scratch to do 24 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 more is 7, so we have 72. So it all multiplies together to 72, and because there were an even number of negatives, we know the answer is positive 72. We don't need to write the positive, I'm just putting it in for emphasis. Let's try one more example where we multiply a bunch of integers together. Negative 1 times 4 times negative 5 times negative 3 times negative 1 times negative 2. Is the answer positive or negative? Well, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, five negatives. That's an odd number of negatives, so we know our final answer is negative. Now we just have to multiply all the numbers together to find out negative what. 1 times 4 is 4, times 5, times 3, times 1, times 2. Continuing to multiply left to right, 4 times 5 is 20, times 3, times 1, times 2. Still going left to right, 20 times 3 is 60, times 1, times 2. 60 times 1 is just 60, times 2. And finally, 60 times 2 is 120. All the numbers together multiply to 120. Because there was an odd number of negatives, we know the answer has to be negative 120. So that's a nice little trick to be aware of. If we're multiplying lots of numbers together, lots of integers, we can decide if it's positive or negative based on if there's an even or odd number of negatives, and then simply multiply the numbers together without having to worry about those negatives and putting it all together at the end.